The Tesla Cybertruck shocked everyone in many ways, the obvious one being the design, but then also the starting price of the car itself. Teslas are not known to be cheap, and that's why most people were really surprised to see the Cybertruck coming in at $39,900. To put that into some real world comparison, other EV pickup trucks are starting at $30,000 to $40,000 more than the base model Cybertruck, around the price of the tri-motor version of the Cybertruck and some even including the full self-driving package cost as well. Taking the Hummer EV for example, it comes in with the same range as the Cybertruck but it has two motors and starts at $40,000 more than the Tesla Cybertruck. So how is this actually possible? Well, the cost saving points from the Cybertruck come from its design. Tesla introduced an exoskeleton like design for the Cybertruck, which means that the frame of the car is on the outside. Tesla say that the exoskeleton design on the Cybertruck gives it increased durability, and together with the Tesla armor glass, makes the Cybertruck nearly impenetrable. So, Tesla need to find other ways of making their cars more affordable other than improving their battery technology. This is part of the reason why they went for a simplistic interior in the Model 3 and the Model Y. The interior is extremely minimalist, with only one centre display controlling practically everything in the car. Tesla also removed the instrument cluster from the 3 and Y as well. A lot of people, me included, really like the minimalist feel of the car and don't really mind having to control everything through the centre touchscreen, but Tesla definitely did this as a cost saving move. And with the Cybertruck they incorporated a new unique design to the car which looks really cool to a lot of people, but importantly for Tesla is a cost saving move. To show you how much this tactic saves money, let's take a look at the Cybertruck, a huge car versus the Model S in the plaid version. The triple motor version of the Cybertruck starts from $69,990. It has a range of 500 plus miles, a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds, and a 14,000 pound towing capacity. Looking at that, compared to the Plaid Plus Model S, which has a 520 mile range, a 0 to 60 in below 1.99 seconds, and has three motors, it starts from $139,990. That's a $70,000 difference in price. Both cars have three motors in similar ranges, a 0 to 60 which is similar considering the extra weight in the Cybertruck, but a radically different design which has meant a cost difference of $70,000. Now Tesla has plans for a $25,000 car which could be coming at the end of this year, but if the Cybertruck is a success for Tesla then we could see that design being implemented into some of its other cars which could lower the cost of them. This could come to a car like the Tesla Roadster for example, which costs around $200,000, which is way out of reach for most people, even though it's way cheaper than a gasoline version of the Roadster. But if the Tesla Roadster was to have an exoskeleton design, this could lower the cost of the car by a lot while still keeping its insane specs. But the Tesla Roadster is less important to the average car buyer, so if Tesla were to incorporate this design to their lower end cars, then this could prove to be a major win for the company. The person who designed the Tesla Cybertruck is still working at Tesla, and is working on concepts for future vehicles with exoskeleton technology. This car is quite small and is covered in a lot of glass, it's called the Tesla Model Zero. As with all concept cars, the design is probably going to need to change, but if it does become a reality, it's definitely a possibility for what Tesla could do. The Model Zero is said to be able to slot under the Model 3 and bring electric lifestyle to everyone looking to get a new EV. As with the Cybertruck, the design is pretty radical, and I can't see this being Tesla's first truly affordable car, maybe a second or third version of that may be in the lineup. But the Cybercar concept could also come to Tesla's SUV line, in which they have the Model X and the Model Y, the Model X being their one true SUV. The Model Y is more accessible to buyers being significantly cheaper than the Model X, but it still starts from $42,000, which not everyone can afford. The crossover SUV market is very popular and with a lot of people wanting big cars, costs can start to mount up as the big cars require a larger battery as well as other cost making things. This is where the Cybercar exoskeleton design comes in as a cost saver. As many people want the space and capacity of a Model X but need something cheaper, a Cybercar SUV could come as a perfect car for them. As Cybertrucks start to be produced and many are seen on the roads, I think that the exoskeleton design will become more liked and accepted as a design for a car. So we can calculate that if Tesla made an SUV based on the Cybertruck's design, it would be a similar price point as the Cybertruck, starting at around $40,000. Customers would be paying for an extended interior rather than the bed of the truck. 
a 300 mile dual motor version of the Cybercar SUV would come in at around $50,000, which would still make it expensive, but with Tesla's new battery technology incorporated into this design, the Cybercar SUV could become a very affordable car for buyers. But the issue with the Cybertruck design is the increased drag that it creates, which Elon Musk has said recently. So maybe what Tesla does is a mix of the curved glass and the Cybertruck glass, and maybe lose the further cost from their new battery technology. As Tesla loves their performance and every Tesla vehicle has had crazy performance, I wouldn't be surprised if this is what Tesla go with in the end. And this would make sense as not everyone likes the design of the Cybertruck, but they need an affordable electric SUV, so a mix of the two designs could definitely work for them. But let me know what you think in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe to this channel to catch more content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.